After years of hostility, Saudi Arabia's foreign minister is in Iran on an official visit. His meeting with Iran's foreign minister comes as Saudi Arabia is reopening its embassy in Tehran, seven years after it was closed. The move follows a deal brokered by China to re-establish diplomatic relations between the two countries. Dorsa Dabari Jabari joins us live from Tehran. Dorsa, this is the mirror image almost of what we saw a few days ago when the Iranian embassy was being opened in Saudi Arabia. Well, it is and it isn't, Cyril. Uh, first, the uh, Saudi foreign minister is due to speak with his Iranian counterpart at a press conference shortly. We expect that to happen in the next hour here in the capital. But uh, as far as the embassy itself reopening, the building that belongs to the Saudi government is not reopening anytime soon. And that's because it's situated on a street that was renamed in 2016 after that Shia cleric um, Bagar al-Nimr, who was executed, which led to the demonstrations and those uh, demonstrators storming the Saudi embassy and the Saudi government severing diplomatic ties with Iran at that time. So that street name is still a point of contention. Now, what we understand for the time being, the Saudi delegation that are con going to be uh, working in Tehran, they're going to be working out of one of the hotels here until uh, we believe the Saudi government will secure another building in the capital to use as their embassy. Uh, that's one of the first things that we understand. Now, the Iranian government, for their part, opened their embassy in Riyadh on June 6th and their consulate on the 7th. And the Saudi foreign minister who is in Tehran, uh, he is the first Saudi foreign minister to visit Iran in 17 years. Uh, Faisal bin Farhan is the first official Saudi uh, uh, to come to Iran since the Iranians severed diplomatic, since the Saudis rather, severed diplomatic ties in 2016. We understand that the two men will be speaking to the press and we'll get a better idea of what we can expect in this relationship in the coming months. You know, this relationship, Dorsa, I think you'll agree with me, uh, contradict me if I'm wrong, is the big story in the Middle East right now. Saudi and Iran very methodically, deliberately building these bridges after years of being arch rivals. How far does this go? I mean, for both sides, where do they ultimately want to take this new relationship? Well, many here believe that there's a number of factors that have contributed to the decision on both sides uh, of the table to come back to having diplomatic relations now. Uh, one would be Iran's economy. It's in dire uh, situation. The trade that would bring in uh, with Saudi Arabia as a result of this rapprochement would be very, very big. According to the economy uh, ministry, uh, ministry uh, they hope to increase trade with Saudi Arabia to uh, one billion a year. It currently is about 15 million dollars annually um, since they didn't have diplomatic relations. So there's a big economic incentive on the, for the Iranians. There's also geopolitical issues at play here. There's Iran's relationship and role in Syria and also in Yemen. These are the two big conflicts in the region that many are hoping with this rapprochement and the both sides having taken the decision to um, resume ties will see an end to the conflict um, in those regions. We've seen that mostly in Syria. Now many believe this will be the case in Yemen as well. There's also the issue of the lack of U.S. power in the Middle East that uh, uh, Iran sees as an opportunity to resume diplomatic relations with a power such as Saudi Arabia, the two countries of one of the two of the biggest producers of oil uh, in the world. And of course, they share uh, very similar um, ideas about how the region should be shaped. And uh, this is going to be seen as an opportunity for them to plan that out. Dorsa Jabari reporting from Tehran. Thank you very much.